I'm Dr. Aaron Spitz, America's favorite penis doctor, and today I want to talk to you about drug use and sexual function. You know, since ancient times, people have been fascinated with the idea of a love potion or aphrodisiac, something to increase or enhance their sexual experience. Many people turn to recreational drugs to enhance their sexual experience, but uh, do these substances really enhance the sexual experience? To tell the truth, they do not. In fact, over time, they ruin a man's ability not only to desire sex, but to have it. I'll take you through some of the most common substances and how they hit you below the belt. Alcohol is the most widely used substance, and although a little is okay, heavy use will result in erectile dysfunction, also known as whiskey dick. Alcohol is a depressant, and it depresses or blunts the nerves that are important in causing erection. Even Viagra won't work when there's too much alcohol on board. In fact, very heavy use of alcohol eventually causes the liver to produce too much estrogen, a female hormone, and this deteriorates the ability to have erections, takes away sex drive, and makes it hard to reach climax. So, too much Dos Equis and you definitely won't be the most interesting man in the room. Cigarettes, well, by now you must know that cigarettes are bad for you. But did you know that the nicotine actually constricts the blood vessels that go to the penis? And those blood vessels are really small to begin with. So narrowing them down results in difficulty reaching an erection. This is true also of the nicotine in vaping. So either way, where there's smoke, there eventually won't be fire in the bedroom. Chronic use of marijuana also has negative effects on sex. Over time, it acts like the female hormone estrogen and results in increased breast tissue, decreased sexual desire, and decreased ability to have erections or reach sexual climax. So, yeah, no woman, no cry, and too much ganja, no woman. Pain pills. There's an epidemic of pain pills in this country. Vicodin, Oxycontin, etc. And pain pills have taken over a long period of time, actually shut down the central control of testosterone production, the pituitary gland. The pituitary gland gets blunted down, it stops stimulating the testicles to produce testosterone, and with low testosterone, you lose your ability to have erections, your desire for sex, and your ability to have sexual climax. Heroin also works at the level of testosterone. It creates increased amount of molecules that bind up testosterone and take it out of your system. So, similar problem. Amphetamines and cocaine, they seem to increase sexual desire and sexual performance initially, but pretty quickly you burn out. Meth users notice that they have increased sexual desire, but an inability to keep their erection. They call it crystal dick. And after a while, they actually lose their sexual desire lose their ability to have erections or to even have sexual climax. And this is true for most classes of amphetamines and cocaine as well. Fortunately, all these dysfunctions can be reversed and improved once a person stops abusing these substances. The body really has a remarkable ability to heal itself and repair itself. But the best course of action, of course, is to avoid abusing these substances in the first place and instead derive maximal pleasure from the biggest sex organ in your body, your brain. I hope this has been helpful. Don't forget to continue to follow me on Facebook, LinkedIn, and Twitter.